Last week I bought a 3D printer, so we're gonna try it out by 3D printing this model. In this video, I'm gonna take you all through the process of designing and modeling this little structure and eventually bringing it to life. If you're interested in seeing more of this kind of content, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It's free and I need money for Chipotle, so. So first things first, we're gonna boot up my program here. We're gonna get straight to work on our little 3D model. I think based on vibes, honestly, I'm kind of just feeling like rounded rectangle corners. Okay, before you guys click away, please let's trust the process. All right, like this is, Okay, the, okay, I'm, I'm doing, but look at what we get out of that. Like, we get this cool sort of skate park ramp, half, well, whatever that is. Let's turn on like a fancier view and, you know, look, look at that. I mean, not too bad, right? Now we're gonna jump back to uh, the upper platform that I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna connect these together and I hope you kind of start to see the, the kind of vision that I have now. So I kind of want this uh, upper platform to feel a bit more transparent. So what we're going to do is create this sort of fence kind of texture. You know, we're just going to do a bit of like modeling magic here and yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We have a nice little fence we can see through, but at the same time, we do have this nice pattern. Now I'm trying to make this aesthetic, um, but also while considering that I'm going to have to print this somehow. Again, you know, I love that our little overhead structure here sort of gave us these four little corners for us to put our structure down, which is great. I honestly didn't even think of that. Yeah, so uh, as for now, this is, this is kind of like the vibe that I kind of want. So yeah, I'm going to finish this off camera now. So uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. So here is sort of the final model. As you can see, I added like a bit of like a like a bridge along the perimeter of the model. I think it adds like a nice little touch. Bottom part, little bit here. I had this sort of penetrate from the bottom all the way through and I cut a hole into this landscape. I also thought it was kind of cool adding these handlebars just for, just for fun, just for the aesthetic. But I think it's kind of cool because like if you look at it from this view, like the structure here goes past, reaches beyond this uh, this landscape here, right? So I think it frames this middle part very nicely. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this aesthetic here. We're just, we're just gonna start the 3D print and we're gonna see if it's, uh, if it's actually gonna work. So in order to 3D print this, I have to split these up into pieces and organize them into these four different plates. So this is the first uh, print that we're gonna make. Uh, so we put it into my 3D printing software and here I forgot to turn on my printer, so. Now that the printer is actually online, now we can send this to the printer and uh, get this whole thing started. So the first print uh, finished, so now what we're doing here is taking this off of the print bed. Everything seemed to look like it went well, except for the supports, just as I predicted. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this is unusable, so. So these little uh, structure pieces, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to fit, so that's what we're testing now, and well, as you can see, it actually fits, so um, yeah, I did, a, I did a pretty good job here. So now that our structure, in fact, did not work, uh, now we have to go back into the software and uh, uh, design a new one. So I kind of decided not to play it too fancy and decided if I want like a strong structure, I'm just going to just straight up just make um, boxes as supports. Yeah, putting these four legs in uh, and yeah, I think, yeah, I went for more like a simple design. Now we're, we're going to uh, add that to the second print. And yeah. Mm. 
So while that's printing, we're going to do some typical architecture drawings for uh, this model. For the people not in architecture, these typical drawings are plan section, elevation, and axonometric drawings. The plan drawing here, we're looking at the model from uh, from a top view. But for the sake of the drawing, we are going to take off this top canopy part so we get to see the layout of, of the model here. So for the section drawing, basically what it is, we are cutting it through the middle and we're looking at it from the side here. So there is a normal section, which I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's just that like I prefer to be a little fancy. So this is a perspective uh, section. So from this view, what we gather the most is sort of seeing where the canopy is in relation to this middle part here and also this perimeter walkway. When you see all of this together, uh, you sort of get to understand um, this model even more. I guess. Elevation views, I, it's it's kind of a section view except you're just like far away now. Now you're seeing everything uh, from a side view without any cuts. Axonometric drawing is kind of like a, we're seeing, we're looking at it from like a top view, like an angled view. So yeah, this is kind of our little drawing pack package here. So this third print here kind of kind of messed up. Um, yeah, this is definitely not good. So uh, we're probably gonna have to remodel this and uh, reprint. So this time we're gonna square everything off and make each of these. Uh, fence is sort of thicker. It, it does look thicker compared to what I had last time but um, it, it was it was way too thin so this time we're trying to make sure that it can actually print. So the last print just finished. Um, now we're gonna get all the pieces together and we're gonna assemble the whole thing. So this is the model. One of the advantages of having a physical model in your hand is being able to discover sort of different angles and, and new things about your design that you probably wouldn't have discovered on you know the computer. These certain angles here, being able to zoom in into your model and just, and seeing how it looks in like an actual real life environment, I think it's it's uh, very valuable. So I think that's partly why I uh, bought a 3D printer in the first place. And now that I have a 3D printer, I do plan to do more of these building random structures. Yeah, I mean this pretty much the end of the video. Again, like, comment, and subscribe, it is free. So in the future, I don't think I have a set schedule for like uploads. I think I'm just gonna upload whenever I want. Yeah, so in that case, might as well hit the notification bell as well after uh, after subscribing, because you never know. I, I, I just I can just like just randomly upload on like a Tuesday afternoon or something. Yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time.